You win some and you lose some, don't you? <laughs> well, not every day thrifting is going to be a home run, right? No. And that's it fine. Isn't. Yeah. everybody uh, we've just been to a jumble sale i didn't film in there because it was just a bit crazy to be honest with you um so the plan now is to head for a place called the charity shed which a few people have talked about and a few people have messaged us and told us about and we didn't realize it was nearby so we passed it on the way and we thought yes right we're going to go to this charity shed and see what it's all about we've heard good things we have and then we're very near to Great Yarmouth and Caister and so we're not quite sure which one we're going to do probably head to Great Yarmouth because we kind of know it and um, take Jeff for a little wonder go and see the and, sea um, yeah go and see the sea it's, it's sunny it's a beautiful sunny day today which yes. makes a change we so, just quickly we, we didn't find a great well we did I I went straight for the media <laughs> and bought a load of CDs and then a load of DVDs. Quite why, I don't know. They were super cheap. Uh, it was seven for a pound. And then I, I, I got piles and then she just did a, a lump sum figure. Um, so I got them super cheap. Yeah. Um, you found a cool thing, which we might uh, show yeah. on Sun. No, we're doing a yeah, sale on Sunday. I really Sunday. wasn't sure about that, but then... I thought Park, little piece of merch. I remembered you talking about um theme park merchandise so mm. I thought, well i'll grab it i think that was, it was fine of the day so um it was cheaper than anything else i bought for the day because the prices weren't that cheap <laughs> to be honest i bought some curtains that was the main thing i bought one mug and a cat which i regret buying now <laughs> it's a bit odd <laughs> some curtains a mug and a cat that you regret wow yeah. well should we go and find this uh, shed yes let's go and find the charity shed all right. Hello, darling. You all right? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, all of this is free. Oh, okay. What is free? Yeah. Little signs of you. Interesting. Um, Have another little look. Oh, there's, well. there's the entrance. That was a bad move, really. Yeah. Spy Glass Bake USA. I thought it was. Yeah. There's another piece as well. Yeah. That's an interesting one. It's just yeah, that a little hole. Hmm. No price on that. Maybe that was for the pair, was uh, it? Yeah. Glass, yeah. glass bells 50p, so I don't know. Two pieces, three pounds. Oh, I see. It's one of those no piggins. piggins takes me back. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Right, that's it. You might be off. Yeah, well, I bought a couple of things in that charity shop. You didn't buy anything, did you? No, I did. I did get a freebie though. They had a load of free stuff outside, and yeah. I, I bought a little folding wine rack thingy. Yeah. Well, I didn't buy it. They they were they wanted rid of it, so I took it away. <laughs> and a jiffy bag, and a whole oh, one and jiffy a, bag. A whole jiffy bag. <laughs> Yeah, I bought some um, plates that were really interesting, some yellow, um, like triangular plates. And um, and I bought a, a mantle vase as well. Um, didn't recognise the brand, so I've got some um, researching to do on that. But hopefully it's a good one, it's quite big. Um, but now we have arrived in Great Yarmouth. So we've just parked the car up and we're going to go and find something to eat and have a little wander round. We've come down to the seafront, we've just had something to eat which was lovely and um, now we're going to have a little walk on the beach. It's very windy today. Yeah. I don't know whether the sound's going to come out. No, I'm trying to shelter it, I hope it's not muffling the sound but um, better than very loud wind noises. So yeah, let's have a little wander on the beach and enjoy the sunshine because it's a rarity this winter, isn't it? <laughs> now we're coming into spring, hopefully we'll be seeing a bit more of it.
we're back in town and um, checked out a couple of charity shops. We've been in the Sioux Rider and I think last time we were in Great Yarmouth we came to this particular charity shop didn't we and it's shut again. I think they're only open in the mornings so we keep missing out on them. Saturday but afternoon though, you'd think they'd be open. Got a window full of really good stuff in including Kath Kidston mugs and we can't get in and we can't have a look. There we are, such is life. So I don't know, you're getting cold now aren't you? We might go in another couple of charity shops and then head home. What are you thinking? Yes. I love retail architecture basically, particularly Victorian and this is a Victorian arcade. Still got most of the original woodwork yeah. and glazing in it. Glazing is gorgeous. Sadly most of it is um, empty and run down now. And full of pigeon feathers. I don't know if you can actually see that on the camera. <laughs> yeah, there's a net with lots of pigeon feathers. But still, I mean, it's quite stunning. Most of the shops are empty, unfortunately. I don't even want them. a great day for thrifting um, to put it mildly you bought a little bit of media in the charity shops yeah. I struck out completely we did try to have a little wander down the seafront but it, although it's a beautiful sunny day it's bitterly cold it was so cold on the seafront I, I couldn't feel my fingers no um, it was nice to see the sun but it was still it felt like minus numbers so, yeah, you win some and you lose some, don't you? <laughs> well, not every day thrifting is going to be a home run, right? No. And that's fine. Yeah. It's not like we need the stuff. It's just... <laughs> well, the, this is the other thing. We have a mountain, a growing mountain again of stuff yeah. at I think, home. I think it's just when you, you set out for it and you sort of have hopes or, you know, you're like, yeah, I'm going to a jumble sale and, yeah, we're going to go around... Great Yarmouth and and last time we went round Great Yarmouth it was good wasn't it? I'm gonna sneeze. Oh! <coughs> He's back! <laughs> yeah last time we went round but it was summer. Um, anyway it is what it is and last time we went round Great Yarmouth what? Um, it was it was better. Oh, I thought you hadn't finished your sentence. Did I not finish it? I don't know. I think we're just really tired now as well, to be honest. Quick. We're tired and cold. Cut. Cut. <laughs> Jeff's tired. He's fallen asleep in the back there. And um, yeah. we're going to head home now. Have a nice warm drink. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no. I was going to say thank you for watching, but I'm going to show you what, we, what I did buy when I get home. That won't take so, very long. <laughs> it won't take very long. But, you know. Hold on, and by the magic of video, <laughs> when you see me next, I'll be at home and I'll show you what we bought. And as promised, here I am with a small haul, a very small haul, to show you what I actually did buy today. So the first thing that I got was from the Jumble Sale, and it was a Disneyland Paris um, initial mug. So that's the bottom of it with a little Mickey on 
and that was a pound. And then this is the cat that I regret buying. <laughs> um, it's a little chinoiserie cat. I mean, it's quite pretty really, but it looks very grumpy. There are no markings on it at all. And I paid a pound for it. And I picked up these two to start with. And usually at a jumble sale, this sort of thing is like 50p each. So I probably would have been a bit happier to have paid 50p. But once he'd said two pounds for the two, it's for charity. I just, yeah, I just paid that. And then I thought, I don't know if I'd have paid a pound generally for this cat. Um, goodness knows what I was thinking, to be fair. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but then after a browse around, I found this little set of egg cups. They're like little melamine uh, mid-century egg cups. So I thought I would grab those because I've, I've seen them do well before. So they're not Tupperware and I can't really see what they say. I think Nick managed to read them, but now I can't remember what he said. But yeah, they're definitely not Tupperware. Um, and I don't really know what the value would be on them, but I paid a pound for those. So yeah, I thought they were worth taking a chance on. And then I got some curtains. I got um, three sets of curtains in all. And this is the first set, sort of vintage, botanical, floral. I mean, they're quite nice, very sort of um, cottagecore, farmhouse in style. And they're quite long. We've got low ceilings and they're pretty much floor to ceiling in terms of length. Now on this particular pair, I couldn't see a label, so I have no idea what the brand was, if it was at all. They might have been just um, bespoke made. So um, yeah, but there are no labels on it. So I've got nothing to go on on those. But I thought they were worth taking a chance. They're in nice condition. And yeah, I think they were, I don't know actually. Did I pay five pound for the three? I might have done. And then the other two pairs are the same design and they're slightly more tasteful, or at least they're slightly more my taste, I would say. <laughs> and they've got this really nice sort of ditzy floral print, ditzy floral print on them. And again, floor to ceiling. These do have a label in them. They are BHS House and Home. So looking at the label, I'd say they're probably 80s or 90s. And looking at the design, I'd say probably 80s or 90s. Um, but we do need, and we've been looking for them for a while, curtains to go on our back door and um, in the space between, well, there, there isn't really a doorway, but there is like a space as you're going up the stairs. So just to keep the heat into the kitchen, we've been looking for a curtain that we could put across the entrance to the stairway just to keep the heat in. Um, I mean, we've done two winters in here now and we've coped, but it is cold in this house. Um, so we're thinking that these, because I've got two pairs and we've got a curtain rail going through to the living room as well, then we'd have three that match. I don't know, I'm just thinking that because they're the right length, we might give them a go. So they are most likely gonna be keepers, those ones. Anyway, enough waffle about curtains. <laughs> then we went to the charity shed and you will have seen that I was looking at this humongous mantle vase and it is marked Birmingham on the bottom. 
Now I've never had Birmingham pottery before, but it does look like this size should fetch about 30 pounds. So it was three pounds and should get a very nice return on that. And I took a chance on this set of unusual side plates. So there are six of them and they are these triangular shaped side plates. And on the bottom, they are marked Dudson Artisan. So I've just done a very quick bit of research just to see. It looks like they're 90s and prices are kind of all over the place. Um, I haven't seen any of the triangular plates um, sold on eBay, but there are a couple of listings for them. There's a set of four black ones and I couldn't really tell. The listing wasn't very well written. I couldn't tell whether it was for one plate or for all four plates. And then there was a blue side plate listed on its own for £7.50. And then somebody else had another set of seven in a different colour altogether listed for £3.50. So <laughs> I'm thinking that these are worth more than £3.50, to be honest with you. I mean, I paid £2 for the set, but they're really cool. Um, they're just so unusual and they've got to be worth more than £3.50. So I don't know. I'm... I'm more inclined to shoot more towards the 20 mark, to be honest with you. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I think it's a much more desirable colour. Hmm. Has anyone sold any Dudson Artisan before? Do you know anything about that? But they're so, like I say, really unusual. And yeah. I just think it's worth taking a chance. Anyway, that was everything that I got. Um, a very small haul. Got nothing in the charity shops in Great Yarmouth itself. Um, but then, you know, like we said, we don't need the stuff. I think, I think we were both just feeling really tired the whole day, to be honest with you. Um, and that really does affect things, doesn't it? Um, not in terms of what you buy, but just in how you feel. So, yeah, like we said, not every day can be great. And today was just one of those days, but there's always another day. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, let me know what you think about the things I did get. Is there anything that you particularly like? Um, or maybe you've got a little bit of information about the plates or the mantle vase or anything else. Um, let me know if you like the cat. <laughs> Cute or ugly? Let me know. <laughs> I'd like to know your thoughts. So until next time, take care everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.